Okay, I'm going to draw a couple genes so that you can see an inversion. And remember how I said draw your chromosomes? Yeah, well, this is what I do. And it's going to help, I hope. Okay, so I've got a few enhancers, my dark shaded things. I'll make a little uh, P for the promoter proper and we're going to have our start of transcription going this way okay so I've got an exon all right and I'm going to put uh, another exon my introns are going to be in between and here's another one looks good I'm going to put an enhancer at the end, or I should say regulatory elements. Okay, so there. Okay, so there's one gene, and now I'm going to draw another gene on. And this one, I'm going to have it go the other direction. So I'll put a few regulatory elements. They're going to be in the five prime upstream region okay I'm going to put on a promoter and there's my P but this time we're going to have it's going off the other strand so there's our first exon and then let's put a regulatory element in the first intron there's another exon, and another exon, and another exon, and we're done. Okay, so backing up. There it is. Now what I can do, if I can do this one-handed while I hold the camera, is I can cut this, I can cut it out. Or in fact, you know, I can cut where we could have a mutation. So... Let's say I mutated, where could I do it? Uh, I'm going to have, let's say, what if I do it right here? So that's going to cut, a, we're going to lose these um, regulatory elements. And what if I cut the other one? Hmm. So let's see, right here. So we're going to lose some of our um, gene proper. Okay, now if I cut this out, just as if it would happen, um, you're going to have to bear with me while I, while I simply use both hands for a sec, okay? Okay, now, what's really going on here is the DNA is, because it can bend, if, if you imagine it's still attached, it, it, it loops, except my piece of paper is not going to do that. Anyway, so what's going to happen is it inverts, right? It flips. Okay, so maybe what you need is I need two different colors or something, or maybe I need to shade in one gene. Okay, I'm going to cross hatch this one gene so you can distinguish it from the other one once we do our flip. Okay, so okay, one gene is cross hatched, one gene is not. Okay, flip it. Okay, so what's happened is we have changed the regulation of the gene that was over on the other side. It's got this regulatory element and perhaps these ones too. Okay. Um, and we still have 
this one over here still got all the regulatory elements but it's shorter because it's lost um, it's it's lost it may do something it could do something funky where it tries to pick up um, tries to make some sort of a fusion thing um, yeah there's probably a stop code on somewhere before you'd hit this um, anyway so over here we have nothing because there's no start that we know of and over here we have one shorter and one that's changed its regulation because it's lost um, the three elements now it's got this one element and they don't always work the same way this can bind different transcription factors than those ones so these ones may cause it to be expressed each in different times in development or um, regulate how much which cells and this one does something different so we could change when it's on okay by um, by moving it away from the regulatory elements um, now this doesn't look like it's that far away and I said that um, you can have these work at quite a distance but we don't know how far this distance is here this is just our picture right okay I hope that helps